Hello, this is Giuseppe Conti. I am the founder of Conti Advanced Business Learning, a company that specializes in negotiation and influencing. The topic of today is building coalitions. I'm just back from a sunny vacation in Italy and this topic of building coalition is very relevant right now as the different parties are talking to each other to build the right coalition to form a new government in Italy. Of course, this topic is very relevant also in business scenario. Think about your own experience. I can reflect, for instance, on situation where uh, one of my former company was choosing the location of the new European headquarter and there were different choices and people having preference for different type of choices. Or maybe one of my former department who had to decide whether to go for a centralized or decentralized type of organization. Or maybe even in private life, I remember a situation a few years back when there was a conflict between the neighbors and there were different parties involved. Let me give you three advice on how to build a coalition. The first one is persuade the other party that your interests and goals are similar or at least compatible. In this respect, remember that when building a coalition, is more effective to remain general in terms of the interest and goals. Because as you go more into the details, then you're more likely to end up in conflicting situation. For instance, back to the situation of the political parties, then it's easier to agree that one of our common goal is to reduce unemployment, it's much more difficult to go into the details on the exact measures that you're going to do to reduce unemployment as different parties will prefer different type of strategies to reach the same goal. The second advice is show to the other party that working together will enhance their ability to reach their goals. A classical example is the message that the unions give to the workers. You know, don't try to be on your own, join a union, and then, you know, together we will have more power to put pressure towards management so that the interests of the workers will be best defended. The third message is explain to the other party that the benefits of working together are greater than the cost. In order to convey this message of higher values, you typically have two strategies, Either you use incentives or you use penalties. Let's take an historical example when the United States used the bot type of tools to reach their goals. They, in 2003, they wanted to create a coalition to go to war into Iraq. So they used the bot incentives in terms of financial aid or political benefits in order to get countries to join them in the coalition. And at the same time, they also made it clear that there will be strong disadvantages for the countries that will not join the coalition. To summarize, there are tricky messages that we want to keep in mind in order to build the coalition effectively. One is persuade the other party that your interest and goal are similar or at least compatible. The second message is that show to the other party that the benefits of working together will enhance their ability to reach their goals. The third message is explain that the benefits of working together are bigger than the cost. For more insight into negotiation and influencing, check our website www.cabl.ch. Thank you.